Hi scholars, um, I promised you the end of the notes so you'd have some examples on how to do the problems. Now I want you to look at the next problem. Here, example four. Notice what's getting squared this time is gonna be the y variable, which means the standard form of an equation that we wanna look at is ending up to be x equals one over four c times the quantity um, y minus k plus, oops, I got my y minus k squared, forgot the squared to make it a parabola, and we go plus h. So notice the y, um, the k, and the, with the y, the k goes, and with the x, the h goes. So I'm just going back to like our very first page, so sorry here, and we're using this one, which then it should tell us if we're opening left or right, and so we're going to be using an axis of symmetry that's actually a horizontal line on this one. So we just want to make sure um, that we have all the stuff that we need. So we're going to go here. Oops, went too far. And so what are the processes we're going to do first? Well, the first thing I need to do is if I'm going to this form, my true goal is to get x by itself. So get x by itself. Well, when I look at this, I don't want to distribute the 4 because that won't do it. Instead, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And when I do that, I end up getting 1 fourth quantity y minus 2 squared is equal to x minus 3. Notice the moment that I do that, I add the 3 over and I get, I'm going to move this up here, guys. I don't like it, but 1 fourth the quantity y minus 2 squared. Oops. Yeah. Plus 3 is equal to x. Basically, now rewrite it so that x is on the left side. So I get x is equal to 1 fourth times the quantity y minus 2 squared plus 3. Now, looking at this, which is our final standard form, I have a parabola that is opening either to the left or to the right. Um, we can decide those things as we go. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my h and k. So when I'm doing that, remember this is your k and this is your h in our standard form, if we look back here. So I know my vertex is at 3, 2. So I go over and I'm like, all right, where's 3, 2? So that is our vertex. Um, our axis of symmetry is going to be at y equals 2 because this is opening left and right. So here is our axis of symmetry. It makes it a little bit easier to work with. Then, oops, excuse me, let me put here, we got y equals 2. Um, we have to find our focus and directrix. But to do that, I have to solve for c. So remember, 1 fourth has to equal 1 over 4c. So we end up getting the fact that c is equal to 1, and it's equal to a positive 1, which means I'm then opening to the right. So my parabola is going to be going to the right. So something like this, so we know. And again, I'm not doing greatness on this. I'm just trying to get a parabola on here. So then, now that I know C, we got to remember the focus is inside, which means I'm going to add the C this way, which means I'm actually adding it onto the X value. So I need to take my vertex, okay, and I'm going to add one onto the X value, and I get my new focus, which is going to be here at 4, 2. So see if I can go over here. So this would be my C value. There is my focus at 4, 2. And I'm looking at this already, and I'm like, oh, I need to have a wider parabola when I'm looking at it. So that's going to be my focus inside my parabola. So it's 4, 2. Now, that remember, the directrix is going to be, in this case, a horizontal line. Oh, no, excuse me, I said it the wrong way. A vertical line, and it's going to be x equals some number. Well, we can find that by taking our vertex, and we're going back c, so minus c, which lands right here at 2, 2. So here's my directrix. I'm going to draw it in with red instead here. The directrix right here because I went minus c this direction. And it crosses the x-axis at 2. So the directrix, directrix, I can't speak today, is that x is equal to 2. 
So I'm trying to see if I can get you guys um, to work with me. Um, the idea with C, it allows us to solve for the focus and the directrix of any parabola. And so the thing is, if you know your standard forms, it's not really hard, but you have to have like the visual. Notice I gave myself a visual by first graphing the parabola. So I knew where the focus had to be on the inside. And now it, was, it wasn't a great parabola I drew. I just knew it had to open to the right because it was a positive C. If it was a negative C, it would have had to open to the left. So you have to think about which way is it moving. Okay, so let's try this one. So let's write a standard form of an equation of a parabola with a focus at 1, 2. So here we are at 1, 2 is my focus. I have a directrix at x equals 3. So x is equal 3. Ah, you know, I can even do this right. 1, 2 is better. See, guys, I need you in here to do this. Focus. And then a directrix at x equals 3. So it's right here is the directrix okay, at x equals 3. Now, what's the deal that we learned about our vertex? If you look up here, remember our vertex is perfectly halfway in between your focus and directrix. So my vertex is going to end up being right here. My parabola is opening to the left. Are you guys with me on that? So what is my C value going to be, positive or negative? It has to be negative because I'm going to the left direction. So C in this case, which would be this distance from here to here, C has to be negative. In this case, it's going to be a negative 1. So again, we're parabola opening to the left and the right. So we're going to use the formula x is equal to 1 over 4c times the quantity y minus k squared plus h. And then we're going to plug in the little details, okay? So first of all, we know where to put our vertex. Our vertex ended up at 2, 2, because that was the equal distance between our focus and our directrix. Um, and then we also know that C is negative 1. Sorry, that was my phone going off if you just heard that. So I get x is equal to 1 over 4 times a negative 1 times the quantity y minus 2 squared, because that's my k, right? and then plus 2. Well, to write general or standard form, excuse me, I should say standard form, it's be negative 1 fourth times the quantity y minus 2 squared plus 2. And that said sketch the graph. And so basically, hopefully that is the graph when you get it. Now, again, key things you need to remember about parabolas. Let's see if I can reiterate quickly. When you have a parabola that is opening up or down, you are using the form y equals 1 over 4c times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. If it is opening up, c is a positive number. If it's opening down, c is some sort of negative number. Also, you need to remember the focus is on the inside. So let's just add a positive c. My parabola would look something like this. My focus would be on the inside. My directrix, my vertex is right here, and that's a distance of C away. And then I have to go C down to get my directrix, which is going to be a Y equals some number. So that's the basics with this. But remember, vertex halfway between, right, between the focus and uh, the directrix. Also, and when I look at this, I also know that my vertex is going to have the exact same um, x value as my focus because the c goes up and down which changes my y values when I go up or down. But remember if I'm going left or right parabola, okay, if I have a right parabola that's going to be c is positive. If I'm going left it's c is negative, but it's going to be the standard form of y equals 1 over 4, oops, not y equals, x equals 1 over 4c times the quantity y minus k squared plus the height. And you'd have something looking, you know, off to the side. I have my focus. My directrix would be um, a vertical line, so x equals some number. And I know that ugh, my directrix is not halfway. It's a little bit better here. So this would be c. This would be c as well, opposite direction. And understand where it looks. And again, the vertex is where halfway between the focus 
and the directrix. And in this case, it's going to move in the x coordinate of it. So basically, um, it shifts um, horizontally instead of up or down. Um, I'm pretty sure I've just confused you, but hopefully this will help you guys a lot on this and that um, it will help you be able to finish your homework.